I work in Hackney, uh, London, mm. and my studio is in my home overlooking uh, the park, Downs Park. My name is Makil Ansika and I work under the name of uh, Mkala. I came to Jewelry when visiting uh, my country, the country where I was born, um, the Republic of Congo. Uh, when I'm there, I meet with lots of artists and artisans, and with them I was really sad to see that our craft and the history of our craft uh, is disappearing. So I wanted to engage with that and in my work I am exploring um, the patterns that we see in sculptures, in textile, around the Congo area but also in other parts of Africa. I also want to feature uh, some different materials, non-precious materials, but materials that had a special meaning in the history of um, not only my country but in the history of the continent. With this first collection, Sand and Fire, I am exploring beads handmade traditionally in Ghana by artisans there with recycled glass. I wanted to look at these uh, beads because they have a particular story in Africa. They were used for trade and the value um, a few centuries ago was very high. Now they have lost completely their value and they're just used as adornment. But in my collection, I'm using them sparingly as if they were still high in value and um, like precious stones. Also, I love the texture of those beads, they're very rough, very uh, grainy and I wanted um, the metal to resemble that rough and grainy like sand texture. Why I call the collection Sand and Fire? Because beads are made of glass, glass is made of sand and heat and also in jewellery fire is used to um, uh, bend and form the metal. I use very simple shapes um, like diamonds and triangles. I repeat those shapes. This is because I am influenced by and I really like them, the patterns that we see in uh, textiles and sculptures in the Congo area but around other parts of Africa as well. Those shapes are heavy with symbols, traditionally, but I like just the simplicity of it and the repetitive, uh, repetitiveness of, um, of the patterns. The piece I am the most proud of is a choker necklace. I love the way it sits at the root of the neck. It is also uh, very beautiful when you see it uh, shimmering under the light. It was a big challenge for me and I have been very stubborn um, completing it. Um, each time I needed to melt the tips of the wire to keep um, the chain together, I could melt the whole piece and um, it was nerve-breaking. <laughs> 